This uh, is a pretty intimidating collection of cars, it Thank has you. to be said. It seems everything has a kind of a similar theme, which is... All black. All black, huge SUVs. So this is a, a 2019 Ford Raptor. And the reason that I bought a Raptor was because I, I, I bought a boat when I first moved to Texas. I'm, I'm a massive bass fisherman. So I needed something to pull it with, it was my thinking. And for my birthday, I bought myself a boat. And this, I added this, uh, this front grille, the lights. It's um, insane. It's well, let's take a look at the new G then. It's wider, it's long, a little bit longer, but more importantly, the inside, because it's wider, they were able to just like go up above me on the dashboard, it's all digital, right? There's there's no analog yeah. in there, so it's, it's pretty dope. Uh, what they don't tell you, and here's the disclaimer, in case you're looking to buy one of these, just know for a fact that if you put a little tiny little crack on that windshield, it's gonna be 3,500 bucks minimum, and I just found out the hard way. So is there any reason that all the cars are black? Is that just your style or? A dark colored car for me has always been like my, my favorite thing just because it's it's like sleek, it's powerful at night. Anything that shines off of it in black looks so much better. I'm fine, um, we got this one. Yeah, it's a GLE 580. Yeah. Now this is the wife's daily. The reason that she got this one after wanting this one is because she said she was getting too much attention driving this one. <laughs> so she got herself this yeah, one to be more <laughs> low-key, right? I'm like, well, why don't you get yourself you know, something yeah. more low-key? What's the quote-unquote dream car then? Uh, I would say it's a Lamborghini Aventador. But the way that I envision my life being when I have a Lambo is that for one full quarter of the year, I'll have it be like matte black, and then for quarter two or whatever, right. it'll be like an optic-themed one. The only problem about having like an optic-themed Lambo is that you know I don't want to be followed home <laughs> right, either, okay, right? That's so true. I'll more than likely, I'll probably uh, park it at the Garage Mahal. You guys want to check that out? Welcome to the Garage Mahal. Wow, this place is cool. Got the G, of course. Got the G-Wagon, 2016 G63 AMG. Bought it from uh, from my brother Nate Shot. That's right, that's right. He said, give me 120 for it. I'm like, 110. We've obviously got the boat as well. Let, let me take a look around that. I told myself one day that I was gonna own a boat, a bass boat, I love bass fishing. And, uh, and this is a 2019 Skeeter. Top speed. Uh, around 73 miles an hour. I don't know what it is in knots. Have, but you, it's, have you hit that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I put a super sick live view uh, Garmin up here. And what I like about the trailer is that it's got steps that you can hop on. You've got your first little setup here. So this is my art setup. This is where I come in. I hit one button, thanks to Matt, uh, my camera guy who put all this together. I'll press record, and then I'll just draw out. This is a project that I started for my friend Courage. We we put in a full full bath. Jesus Christ, there's two dudes in here. <laughs> all right, cool. <laughs> Artwork, obviously, uh, from people that I admire. Uh, this is a, an artist by the name of Alex Party, uh, and these are three one-of-a-kind artist prints. I'm gonna show you guys the upstairs now, which is probably my favorite part. Beautiful. You can't say bootyful as I'm walking up the <laughs> stairs and you're staring at my ass. This is like uh, my man cave away from home. The walls are gonna be filled with, you know, graffiti writers' artwork that I admire. I have artwork from uh, Pose, MSK, Revise, Saber, Omens, Digital DOS, Modic, Cope 2, Legend, uh, Themo, uh, also one of my favorite graffiti writers. The fridge is always, always, always gonna be stocked up. If you focus in on this, you're gonna appear in the same place. The award that I got for podcast of the year last year. I have a very good gaming PC. I obviously have my monitors where, where I play from. Got the Battle of Pappy Van Winkle. It's like 4,500 bucks. This is a Dr. Disrespect scuff controller. This is a Champs Gold controller. This is the one of the first one ever Optic Gaming controllers. You have the newest Optic Chicago controller, the Green Wall controller, and then you have like the Hex Special Edition controller. So, oh, and the one that I currently use right now, which is a an FC Dallas MLS controller. This is my favorite part of the house. It's, it's where I do the majority of my thinking. I was able to get this art piece. 
Call of Duty 2 was the game that changed my life. My favorite movie of all time, Snatch by the incredibly talented Guy Ritchie. So this is the Hall of Hex. I don't know, the, it's like the Hall of Fame, but again, for me, graffiti is such a big part of my life that, you know, getting paintings from some of my favorite artists, I know this guy is a good friend. So now we're in the backyard. As a kid, I would have loved to have had something like this. Welcome to the Hex Quarters. Imagine walking into someone's brain through their earlobe. Originally, this space was supposed to be like my creative space. Very quickly, as it started to become like a bigger space and everybody sort of gravitated towards it, it turned into what it is today. For me, it was about filling up every single one of the walls to give you something to look at on the background so it's not as boring as it is. So no matter which way you point the camera, like you have something to, to read. This is supposed to be the chill out spot. Which is, uh, which is your favorite? My favorite is the first one. Right here. This is the first uh, championship that Optic won. It's massive money in all of these trophies. 300,000, 400,000, 500,000, 250, 350. You sort of start gathering like the amount of money that can be made if you are in the upper tier of uh, competitive gaming. This is where you, where you go if you want to go inside my brain. You, you, you step into here and you see everything that, that, I, that I'm into. I'm into graffiti, here's my art, pop culture. We have the Elon Musk boring company flamethrower caused Jordan 4s. That was the first ever Optic Gaming uh, credit card. This is the first time an Optic Gaming logo appeared on a beverage uh, drink. Down here, these are one of ones. This is a Game Fuel can. It's super good texture and it's got me in it. The most valuable thing I think have to be like these, these graffiti uh, Neo characters and these are like super super valuable this one right here It took me like a long time to find it This is one of eight Fortnite llamas for all of you who are watching and have kids and know Fortnite This was actually a Fortnite llama at the Fortnite E3 event in Los Angeles Alan so, sort of became the mascot of, of Optic, but whoever sent this to to us. Thank you so much Like he became like an instant hit and this is uh, the desk, right? This is the famous, the famous Optic Show, Optic Podcast desk. So I'm a big fan of Super 73s. They look like motorcycles, but they're actually bikes and you don't have to pedal, it's all electric. And that is the, the full tour. When you compare it to other esports organizations, mine is like smaller, but do way more views than anybody else.